So guys, I was messing around with my son's, I guess his, uh, his cart over here, and it's not working. So I had uh, two battery packs that had sat for pretty much all winter, and it's the, uh, the N-I-M-H, like nickel metal hydrate. So, you know, I have two different charging systems. The cart came with like the basic charger that you'd see here. Um, you'd plug this in um, initially. It's like a trick, almost like a trickle charge, and it would light up, and then it's telling you, so it's not going to charge. So these batteries go dormant after a period of time, and they're not going to charge because basically they're like essentially dead. And even with like the rapid chargers that you got here, like if I was to plug this into the other one, I'm trying to do this one-handed here. So plug it into the uh, rapid charger, as you can see here, when you initially plug it in, um, I plugged it in before, but it's gonna do that charge, but it's gonna shut off. So it's not reading enough voltage basically to be able to charge this thing. It's not recognizing that's, you know, the presence of the batteries even there. So I'm gonna show you a quick trick. Um, you might be able to do in your own garage, but I'll be a little careful doing this. So I'll show you in a second. So looking at these batteries, so your squared off end over here, that has kind of like squared edge there to it. The other side's round, that's your positive side there. Your negative is gonna be over there like the circle. So with that being said, um, we're gonna rig up um, some Clark Griswold shit. Basically, I got some speaker wire. Um, we're gonna pay attention to what sides, the positive and negative. And um, for our purpose, this one is uh, Kind of marked it's it's literally speaker wire copper it's going to be uh you know low, low voltage type wire you're not going to leave this on there very long i'll show you in a second but you know this this wire is going to go up to believe it or not standard issue battery charger just the jump start battery thing that um you know you'd keep in your car so i'll show you how, how it's going to work all right so here's our setup here we got our battery hooked into um you know, it's crudely taped here with the uh, painter's tape. We got a positive and negative going to the uh, appropriate side here, tracing the wire up to our cables. So we got our neutral here, our hot wire here. We don't have this turned on yet. We're gonna show you how that's gonna work here in a second. So um, this unit here, it's standard issued, you know, jump start for your, uh, your automobile kind of battery kind of deal. And then ours, you know, the one I have here has a switch here. So we're gonna cycle this on and off, okay? So it's not reading really right now. It's showing that it's dead. Um, it's kind of a, a moot point. You don't necessarily need that. But uh, we're gonna hit this um, on and off intermittently to just give it like a base charge. All right, so we're gonna hit this. We're kind of gonna feather it on and then off. And we're going to do that probably just a couple times. So just to give it somewhat of a charge here. All right, so after we're done, we're going to go ahead and disconnect our cables. We don't have this, you know, we don't, this is off, so we're not, um, you know, arcing anything, I guess you could say. So we're going to disconnect power here that's crudely kind of connected and I'll show you what happens here with uh, using the two chargers all right so we're back kind of where we started here so this is kind of like the slower charge that would come like standard issue plugging this in I'm gonna try to show you guys hopefully I got it the right way here um, pretty much immediately when I charge it I'm trying to plug it in here get it plugged in it's gonna go red that's what we want so it's staying on um, before it's going to flash um, green and red. So we're showing that it's actually charging. We got it connected here at this point. And we'll move on to show you the more advanced uh, rapid charge. All right, so we got our rapid charge. We got it set to the uh, appropriate level. And uh, we'll see how it goes here and see if this one responds. Plugged it in here. This one, you got to hit the button twice after you set it up. So it was never doing that before. So we're holding green and we're showing that we're charging. So it did work out. Um, 
Again, I think the key uh, with using something like this over here is, you know, you gotta be mindful of your connections and you gotta be uh, cognizant of your positive and minus, but it's um, one of those things where, you know, this is a little overkill, but it's gonna certainly put a charge quickly on it. And it's something that's an option for you and you definitely have to throttle um, switching this on and off essentially needs to have some sort of, um, you know, charge that's going to recognize what's going on that way the charger does pick up. So that's it. So hopefully it helps you out. I was kind of wondering what was going on and I've never done this one before. I didn't see any other videos. So, um, we're going to charge these up for 4th of July weekend. My son's going to hopefully be excited to be able to use his cart again. And, um, uh, you know, we got the chassis off and sitting over here for a while. Hopefully we can, we got the granite, so this thing's kind of badass. So uh, hopefully this helped you out, and uh, catch you next time.